don't do it. There's a tablecloth bottle. Well, that's one of your mother's good tablecloths, isn't it, Dave? Oh, it's supposed to be a swanky restaurant. Where do you want the camera, Pop? Right about here? Yeah, that's about... No, no, uh, better move it over here, Rick. We don't want to get the furnace in. We'll need something behind the table. How about this? Hey, that's great. Uh, where'd you get that? From the hall. You mean from the hall in your house? No, the Elks Hall. I picked it up last week during the scavenger hunt. Oh, good for you. Now we need a little nightclub background atmosphere. Oh, I got some of that right here. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, Rick. Uh, how about some music? I got Rick's record player back here. What kind of music do you want? Oh, just a little dance music, Dave. Oh, uh, would you mind bringing that big candle over here, please, Fred? And uh, do you have a match? Will you light it? No, no, Dave, we need some dance music. Oh, this is dance music, Pop. Huh? That's good rock and roll. Well, I, I, I know, but we want something a little more romantic to, to uh, fit a, a nightclub. Now, what about some girls? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, you want atmosphere. Well, yeah, but you don't have to see all the atmosphere. After all, our wives are going to be watching this. We just want to worry them. We don't want them serving subpoenas on us. <laughs> is your time, your time. Hey, Rudy Valley. Oh, no, that's a home recording of Pop doing his imitation of him. <laughs> I thought I broke that years ago. No, don't you remember? You broke the real record. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. You want to take that off there, Dave? Hey, how about people in this nightclub? You want me to go upstairs and put on my tuxedo and kind of weave through the scene a couple of times? Oh, no, that won't be necessary. It's just going to be kind of an interview-type show. Uh, Mr. Randolph and I will be seated at a table. Hey, does anybody need any makeup? No, not me. Dad, you could sure use some. You look awful pale under these lights. Oh, here you go, Mr. Randolph. Some Mom's lipstick. Oh, thanks, Rick. Oh, this is silly. What if I am a little pale? That way your mother will know it's me. Hey, where do we go on the air? Uh, just as soon as your mother gets back home. How do you know Mrs. Randolph's going to be with us? Oh, well, she always stops by for a cup of coffee. Hey, wait a minute. Here comes the car now. Dave, you got my coat? Thank you, son. Don't you think we should have had a rehearsal first? We don't have time for that now. But Dave, go upstairs and turn on the television set and make sure your mother and Mrs. Randolph are looking at it. Okay, Pop. Come on, sit down, Joe. I don't think I can go through with this, Oz. I'm nervous. Silly, what are you nervous about? Well, this is the first time I've ever been on television. So! <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Miss Randolph. Hi, Dad. Hi, David. I'll make some coffee. Oh, let me do that for you, Mom. Why don't you come in the den and relax? Watch television. A lot of good shows on tonight. Oh. Just sit right in the big chair, Miss Randolph. Thank you, David. I'll turn the set on for you. We have a loose connection. That's what Joe said to me the other day. About the television, that is. <laughs> oh, isn't he nice? Good evening, ladies, and whatever you brought with you. <laughs> oh, he's funny. Here we are at the beautiful club, um, Zsa Zsa. Uh, they keep the lights so dark here, it's hard to know where I'm working. <laughs> Should I try to get something else? Oh, no, he's funny, Harriet. Amidst this lush, tropical setting, we have many world-famous visitors, and we're going to interview a few of them right now. I wonder if Lowell Thomas is there. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, may I ask your names, please? Why, it's Joe and Ozzie. Uh, my name is Joe Nelson, and this is my friend, Ozzie Randolph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like them, but they have different names. I suppose you gentlemen are out on the town tonight? Uh, yes, we're batching it, you might say. What does that mean? It means they're in for a lot of trouble. Uh, may I ask, uh, how did you hear about our club? Well, uh, my sister Harriet told me about it. Sister? Uh, does she come down here very often? Well, that's uh, difficult to say. I haven't seen her in quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let it worry you, honey. They've just probably had too much to drink. <laughs> that. Oh, thank you, waiter. Well, thank you. Cheers. Well, I want to thank you, fellas, for being such good sports. And now we have a little surprise for you. You're each entitled to a free dance with one of our gorgeous showgirls. Oh. <laughs> Say, she, uh, that, that's a big surprise. <laughs> uh, I, I 
think I'll take the blonde. I think I'll take the red hair. Well, that's a fine thing. When I had my hair red, he said he didn't like it. <laughs> oh, the station's gone off, Harriet. Start your foot. Is the camera off, Joe? Yeah. Grab the table. I wonder how he's going to like dancing with a broken leg. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I've seen enough. Come on, let's go. Well, girls, I think we've worried you enough. We're not at a nightclub at all. We're right downstairs in the Nelson basement with a special television set. <laughs> Allow me to introduce the rest of the cast. Uh, Mr. Fred Edwards, whom you haven't seen for a good number of years. And, of course, our good friend Joe Randolph, who played the part of Joe Nelson. <laughs> On the other side of camera, we had Joe Randolph, Jr., and we were ably assisted by David Nelson and Ricky Nelson. We'll see you in just a moment, girls. <laughs> Wait a minute, do you think it's possible they could have switched the set off before we got in the explanation? Oh, that's a horrible thought. Hey, Pa, somebody's been using his phone book. Hey, let me see that, Rick. What's open to nightclubs? One of them circled with a pencil. Club Zsa Zsa. <laughs> now, wait a minute, that's where we were. That's uh, where we were making believe. Uh, Fred, uh, uh, where did you get the name Club Zsa Zsa from? Yeah, well, from the Club Zsa Zsa. I go there once in a while, and it's the first name that came into my mind. Oh, well, that's great. Now the wives will think we were really there. How are we going to explain this? Yeah, well, don't look at me, fellas. A bachelor never has to explain anything. <laughs> Probably the police, wondering what all the shouting's about. Oh, <laughs> good evening. Excuse me, is Fred here? Uh, uh, Dolores! Oh, Freddy, I'm glad I caught up with you. The man at the drugstore said I might find you here. Did you forget about our date? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'll make it up to you. Oh, uh, Dolores, uh, Ozzy Dipple. No, that's the... Uh, Nelson. Oh, Nelson. How did you and, do? Uh, Joe Randolph, Dolores. Well, uh, so long, fellas. I'll give you a call in a couple of days. Oh. Nice to have met you. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, that's, uh, that's great. The whole thing is his idea, and he, he leaves us holding the bag. Well, what do we do now? Well, we'll just have to go over to the club Zsa Zsa and explain to the wives exactly what happened. Yeah, I guess you're right. Go ahead, you first. <laughs> you see them? No, do you? I guess they didn't come down here after all. Maybe they're over at your house. Oh, hi! Oh, I see you're leaving. Oh, Clara, no, we're not leaving. You. I didn't think so. You seem to be having such a good time. Well, it's just the whole thing's a mistake, a big fake. You're not kidding, <laughs> both of you. Oh, Clara, for goodness sake, will you listen? Look at this, some girl's lipstick. Oh, oh. some girl's lipstick, it's mine. It's his. Harriet. Harriet. <laughs> We weren't on television. You were, too. We saw you. No, no, Why but... but you, folks, but, some television equipment coming through. No, no, no. Nice no, 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 no. show, boys. See you tomorrow it, night. It, uh, it the, was a very educational program. Thank you. <laughs> Hear the explanation of this. You're going to die like <laughs> 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 
Where's the television camera? What happened to the table? Well, see, the, the table was, we were seated at the table, and you heard those glasses? Well, uh, Dave ha had those, they were water glasses. The television camera was over Come here. Come on home, Joe. Goodbye. Uh, Clara, honey. Clara, honey. Uh, uh, Harry, this is ridiculous. I tell you, we put on the television show from right down here. Well, I believe you, dear. <laughs> well, then uh, why didn't you say so? Trust me after all these years. Oh, of course I trust you. Besides, the last time I saw this, it was up in the attic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not only that, I saw the boys working on the television camera this afternoon. Well, then, uh, what's the idea of worrying me like this? Well, I have to have a little fun, too. Besides, I just happen to remember. <laughs> so, uh, then we came up here expecting to find you girls laughing, and you weren't here at all. I believe you did. No, uh, Rick, uh, uh, don't turn on the television set, huh? We've had enough television for one night. Well, we have it hooked up over at the Randolph's house. We want to see if it works that far. Let me just try it once. Cut it out, Clara. You almost hit me. Hey, that works oh. great. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, I'm folding clothes. No, no, don't do that. This is the best show I've seen in weeks. <laughs> oh. Stop ducking, you coward. <laughs> There's a the phone. I'll answer it. I've got my eye on you. Well, oh, Harriet. We are. Oh, thanks. Joe. Oh, no, 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 Clara. No, I want to see. <laughs> 